how do we start off then? You say hello today. We've, we're visiting <laughs> Philip James okay. in his studio down in Dorset, and he's going to tell us about his new collection, Neddy's Meadow. Okay. <laughs> what? That's done it. Well, no, I was going to say it. Go on, say it. Okay. Well, we're extremely lucky. We're visiting Philip Jacobs in his studio in Dorset, and we're talking about Neddy's Meadow his latest um, snow leopard um, designs. So Philip is going to tell us all about them. Yeah, this is a collection I've done for my own private brand, Snow Leopard Designs, for Free Spirit. And it's, the whole collection is based around this lovely gypsy cob stallion who I visit and feed and groom. And he's known as Neddy. And it's all about Neddy and his different friends who live in his field and at the farm where he lives. And I'll just show you some of your original artwork first of all. And this is a very striking design called Roosters, which um, shows I've managed to get the roosters into repeat. And you've got little rooster chicks and the roosters all relating to each other. And that one, I think you can see it behind me, comes in, in this one uh, colourway, which is a sort of natural colourway. And this was actually inspired by several Japanese prints by Hokusai. So I, I developed them. It was so brilliant the way he'd painted them. I took several different prints of his and put them in repeat, thus creating roosters for Neddy's Meadow. And it's sort of almost multi-directional. It's going to be absolutely fantastic for stack and whack quilts. Yeah. It would make quite a nice centrepiece, I would think, all the roosters as well. And then that's sort of what I see that as probably the main main design. And then the secondary one is this one, which is, I think it's called Neddy Horses. And that shows... Um, all sorts of different horses in different postures and I've tried to use different varieties of horse so you've got a multitude of different textures and that again interestingly was based on a Japanese print by Hiroshigi um, of different dancing horses and I've rearranged them and found more different horses to create these um, different horse textures and somewhere that's over here on a grey background. Is it coming in two colourways? It comes in two colourways, Neddy Horses. So the grey background and sort of a... A bluey, pale blue, shell. yeah. Duck egg you might yes. call it. So that's for Ned, and there's my original artwork. I actually prefer my original artwork colourway, I think. So that's Neddy horses, for anyone who loves horses. And Ned is such a, a sweet loving horse. Normally when I first arrive at his field, he's uh, like a wild stallion and he's quite aggressive and he, you wouldn't actually want to get in his field with him initially. You wouldn't give him a sugar lamp? I, I give him tons of carrots. But first I feed him carrots and chopped apples and then he gradually settles down and normally I'm wearing my hat and he knocks my hat off repeatedly. And then, once I've fed him, then I climb over the fence and get in with him and start grooming him. Mm. And then he just goes completely docile and his bottom lip starts trembling. And you can then just do absolutely anything you want with him. You can drape fabric over him. Yeah. I put my arm round his big neck. And if I sit on the ground, he comes over and starts licking my face. So it's it's a good relationship I have with Neddy. But on Facebook, as some of you will know, Neddy is actually world famous. Um, it was once when Keith was doing a, a lecture tour in Australia, the main thing the people on the lecture tour were asking him was questions about Neddy, apparently. And they wanted yes. to know, did Keith and I own a join in horse farms? Yes. But Neddy's owner has no idea that Neddy is world famous. So he comes down to his field to feed Neddy, who's the stallion on a horse farm. 
and he has no idea that Neddy has this secret life of fame all around mm. the world, all across America and, and in Australia and other countries. So you just never know. Mm. So that's the main Neddy design. And then I've done other designs to go with it that reflect what goes on in Neddy's meadow. Is that crocuses? This is crocuses. Crocuses in the springtime, Neddy's meadow erupts in crocuses. Wild crocuses? Wild. Well, these are more sort of um, hybrid ones, they look like, because these are, have got variegated stripes on them. But sometimes the wild ones, I think, do naturally develop stripes. But I was interested in the stripe, stripy textures of all the crocuses. So that one gives you, here it is printed in another colour way. Dense crocuses, and that one's on a, a black background. So, how many colourways does this come in? I think it only comes in that colourway. I think that's the only one that's been printed in. And that's where, when I'm painting them up, I experiment with different backgrounds. So I use an acetate background, which I paint up like so, and I can lay it over, and instantly you get a, a vision of how it's going to work on different coloured grounds. So that's crocuses for Neddy's Meadow. And then, this one here is, is called Spring Blossom. And again in the springtime, all around uh, his paddock are these blossoming trees. And the blossom gets blown off the trees in the spring breeze and lands on the river, because there's the river mole runs past Neddy's paddock, and the blossoms you see floating down the river mole. So that one again reflects the blossoms floating down the river and growing alongside Neddy's paddock by the winding stream. Have I got that one? Yes, that one's over there behind the leopard. Yeah. Yeah. There it is. I'd like a dress in this. Yeah. Think it suit me. I do. I love doing taking a, a sort of tonal um, background and then putting more botanically drawn flowers on top of and what is just a two two colour background, it's a good motif, which I think gives depth to design. So that's spring blossom. And then as summer turns into autumn and the autumn mists start to emerge up off the river, uh, the blackberries all appear in the hedgerows. And I have genuinely observed that Neddy actually eats the blackberries off the hedgerows. So here you've got, I've done this little blackberry design. Um, have I got that somewhere? Yes, that's right here. This one's very English looking, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, it has multiple uses. But that's a very nice blackberry design, which signifies Neddy's meadow as summer, late summer starts to turn into autumn and the mists arrive. And I have myself picked the blackberries up off the hedges and fed them to Neddy when he's eaten all his carrots and apples. It would be lovely on jam jars when you've made it would be nice. blackberry. It would be nice on jam jars. Jam. And while we've been staying in Dorset, we've been trying blackberry gin. That's nice, we blackberry gin. We found a really nice bramble cocktail Ooh. last night. Lovely. Right. So blackberries, let's hope the blackberries don't all ferment in Neddy's tummy and turn into alcohol. And I think that's the final design in the group, it was based on the grasses in, in Neddy's paddock. And this one is called meadow grass. And it's just a very simple two colour design of the grass heads growing along. And there it is in two of its well, colourways. Is this the two colourways it's made in? I think that's the two colourways it's made in. They're very <coughs> nice filler fabrics. Yeah, quilt. yeah, you need good... Useful. You need ones that from a distance look like solid colour, but when you get close up you see they've actually got a pattern to them. And those were more colourways I suggested originally, for blue and green 
and red would be nice. I think these look lovely. Yeah. The fabrics there. Yeah, they work nicely together. And with the hens and the crocuses. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. So that's that's the complete collection. It's quite a small collection, but I think it's got quite a punch to it with the roosters. So these will be at Lady So and So, which you can buy online or coming into the store in Henley on Thames. And of course, the other major one is the Neddy Horse, the dancing Neddy Horses. So that's it for Neddy's Medley. Thank you very much.